And action. Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. What's going on, Tommy? Well, we're having some rain here. And uh, the Super Bowl is going to be the Chiefs versus the Buccaneers. Who do you think is going to win? The one that can deflate the balls the most. Um, that's who I think is going to win. Brady's back in the Super Bowl. Different team, but same old guy. Other than that, we have some YouTube Celebrity Gossip News. You ready to go to work, Tommy? Yep. All right, let's go. Welcome back, everyone. Well, Tommy, what's going on for this week? Okay, my first story of two has to do with uh, YouTube rolling out this new feature where you can uh, take clips from live videos that have already been uploaded uh, after the fact that they've been live and to for a short little 60-second uh, minute long clips um, and as a viewer. If you want to share this with your friends, your family, if you thought this would be beneficial to them to watch the full video. And so what this does, this is in testing right now, it's not available uh, to use right now, but what they're doing in testing, and what they hope to do eventually is to roll it out so everyone could use it, is to where you could take a clip from the live show and then it'll play that clip over and over again until someone really, go. Oh, this is interesting. I want to see the full thing. So there'll be a link so they can click on it, it takes them to the full video. Uh, and then the only thing this won't be used for is a children's uh, videos and stuff. Uh, and there might there have been hints of it also might be going on beyond just gaming and live streaming. They also might just go into videos that already been posted. I hope it does go that route. Uh, there has been hints on that in articles I've read in the article read about it. So that's what YouTube is right now. They're another way of sharing videos, of getting videos uh, that actually people want to watch other than just the algorithm. Uh, so I hope this is something that it does really well because I think it will be a really good tool for uh, people out there to really share videos directly with people because the algorithm doesn't always do a good job of actually putting videos that you're actually interested in front of your face. So this is more of a direct way because if you like something, chances are your friends and family members also will like it. Well, that's good, Tommy. But uh, other than the algorithm, I mean, the algorithm is not really consistent, I don't think, on YouTube or other social media platforms because, yeah, the algorithm may, you know, tell you who's watching, who's not watching versus views versus um, minutes views. That's for the case being. The algorithm is, you know, basically not consistent and I can see with what you're saying on that to where um, you're absolutely right I mean this is a good thing for YouTube to be doing because YouTube is always stepping up your game with a lot of things out there I, I find this very useful for um, not only the content maker but you know the watcher as well as of right now there is no uh, set date for when this will be released to the general public and if it will go beyond just live videos and gaming videos after they've been uploaded like I said there have been hints of it possibly going beyond just that so I hope that is true uh, so as of right now it's just in testing uh, but when there's more information, we'll let you know. And I think this is a great thing, uh, you know, just for both the creators and the viewers, because then it also lets you know that oh, there are people that really care about your content. You know what? You know more on this, and uh, Tommy's story is down on the section down below. And Tommy's second story. Uh, what do you got for us on your second story, Tommy? Okay, last year, uh, Roman Atwood and his family were getting uh, threats from uh, a group or one individual that was uh, threatening his family's lives, uh, cutting off their power, uh, 
um, making their make cutting off their insurance for driving insurance, car insurance. You know, uh, it was literally making it really difficult to live to the point where he literally had eight months ago of 2020. Uh, he literally was forced off the internet, not just YouTube, but all internet. He was forced to get off there because it got so dangerous. He was f so fearful, not just for his family, uh, you know, the living in the house, but for his family members who would be coming over, you know, for their safety as well. I mean, there's, uh, they have footage of them uh, going around the property. They've got security footage of this. Like I said, they, they had the power get cut off. They've had things hacked. So he calls them stalkers in his video where he talks about all this, um, which we'll leave a link down below in the description so you can check it out yourself. Uh, but to me, this sounds more like someone who is a criminal and wants to see how far they can take this. For them, there's something seriously mentally wrong with them because they think this is funny, this is fun. They want, like I said, like they want to see how far they can push this. Uh, luckily, his family is okay. The FBI has been involved. They had to have cops uh, almost 24-7 uh, near the property because of this. But luckily, no one got hurt. None of his uh, in, uh, his family, his four kids, because uh, he has uh, because he has uh, with his current wife, he has a, a son, a daughter, and another kid. So his four kids are okay. Uh, any of his intimate family who come over to visit, um, of course, do it safely because of the pandemic are safe. So luckily, no one got seriously hurt. So that is the reason why um, he was actually forced. It wasn't because he was having. Uh, a mental breakdown. It was literally he was forced off of YouTube and internet altogether for eight months because of this either individual or hacker or a group of hackers literally making his life so dangerous, uh, making it so like so dangerous that he could not uh, post anything anywhere. Wow, I gotta say, Tommy, basically uh, that you know <laughs> where to start. This is pretty dangerous. It's not a good situation to be in. And I'm glad his family is okay, too. It's just really messed up, but I'm glad the situation got fixed. It's great that no one got seriously hurt. I do hope the people uh, get caught and uh, served time. Uh, and because he didn't go to, because it's still legal things, there's only so much he can say right now and there might be some things they might not talk about because in the video he also said it was very painful for them to bring up this stuff because there's in fact they're like it's like reliving it for them so i think it's you know really great that he's able to keep his family safe and you know not let these people completely take over his life i mean yes he had to take precautions and stuff to make sure they're safe but not let th these people completely take over to where it's like oh we're never going to be able to go outside again we'll never able to feel safe again no he took his family's uh, safety consideration and put things into place to where this le less likely to happen again and also so these people don't win absolutely i agree with you 100 percent and uh he did consider his family safety and that's the key and there are things that he can't talk about when you're going through stuff like this in court just remember folks you can't talk about stuff like this until it's over and you never know in the court system when things like this is going to be over what other than stuff i told you that i that i that he divulged in the video and some of the stuff uh, that i told you in this about like the power he cut off uh, there might be more like i said later later coming out uh, but as for now, they're just planning on to upload videos again. He's so concerned about family safety is that he didn't want to even document his his uh, his kids, you know, growing up and his his newest kid. You know, he felt so scared. I don't blame him, but you know, because he didn't want to post anything. But I wish he maybe just did it for his own uh, sanity. Did you know just for home videos? But that's his choice on what he did. Uh, so. And if there's any other updates, we'll let you know. And not only that, we will drop you the story down on the section down below so you guys could read a lot more, see a lot more. Head over to that site to take a look at the story and tell us what you think about these two amazing stories that Tommy talked about the comment section down below. So moving on, Tommy, we have uh, Chinese officials that are actually you know, in the lab, and they told us, uh, they've reached out to 
uh, the media and told the media there is a new way besides the nose swab of testing COVID, and that is through the, you know, you can do it in the annual, and not only that, there are some Chinese health officials, uh, you know, you know, demonstrating on a dummy, and not only that, Chinese officials said and have de demonstrated a new way, Tommy. Uh, first of all, scientifically, um, this is a respiratory uh, virus. There are viruses that have to do with the digestive system, but you don't test by using that area. You test maybe a stool sample, but you don't actually swab or anything uh, in that, in, in the rear. Uh, the, there are two ways that I know are used here in America. In America, there's the saliva one that can also test for COVID, and there's also the nasal one because both have to do with your respiratory system. Right. Uh, but as far as this one, as far as I know, this is not. This is a respiratory disease, so the the rear end has nothing to do with this. Right. Exactly. So I think they're not so accurate with their information. It would make things easier instead of up the nose or in the mouth too. But uh, I don't agree with that. So if it was a digestive virus, um, you would test it through samples. You know, whether it's urine or the other or or number two. You don't stick anything up there for that type of thing. So what you could do is click on the link down in the section below to read more about this way to test out COVID. It's very interesting. I find it um, a little humorous. And not only that, now we also have Tommy UFO sighted outside of Los Angeles. So Tommy, basically somebody spotted a UFO outside of the 101 freeway in Los Angeles to where it was at night and they uh, found something floating in the air that looked like a flying saucer and to wrap it all up on a quick story basically an eyewitness shot some photos last saturday of the ufo floating over i mean i don't doubt that there possibly could be uh, such thing as flying saucers just because um there hasn't been scientific proof of it yet. Doesn't mean they don't exist. But also, uh, this day and age, it's a lot easier to fake things than it was 30 to 40 to even 100 years ago to fake uh, something like that. It, because of the technology today, it's easier to fake things uh, because, it's, it, because of technology and stuff, and videos and stuff, or something may look like something else. So uh, you just really got to really scientifically look at each bit of evidence and because there's always sometimes usually either it's maybe fake because someone just wants some money or it's just something that looks like something else because things look different at night than they do during the day or it could be something that just cannot be explained right it could be for publicity out there what are your thoughts about the flying UFO that was flying in Los Angeles last week? Do you think it's true, not true? Do you believe in aliens? Uh, to me, I'm going to just point it out that I think there's something inside Earth that where maybe uh, there are uh, um, humans or another planet somewhere that things do really exist. A little more further evidence to prove that that might be the case is they have discovered um, on uh, one of Jupiter's moons, uh, signs of microscopic life forms. So uh, they may not be developed like we are, but the fact that there are microscopic life forms out there means that there's ch a good chance that there are more highly developed life forms out there. Exactly. So uh, comment down on the section down below. Check out that story as well and uh, leave a comment and uh, what do you think about our stories? I just want to tell people if you're going to be watching the Super Bowl at home, be safe, do it with a small group, don't do it with a big group because of the whole COVID thing and after that um, and leave your predictions down below in the comment section and along with that you can leave a comment about what we talked about, you can thumbs up this video because uh, it shows that you, uh, you appreciate what we do you can ring that notification bell after you subscribe, or if you already subscribe, 
uh, ring it because it will let notify you of more videos when they're uploaded. And don't forget to share this with your friends. And your family members. And so this has been a Top Level Media. We will see you later and bye for now. Stay safe out there. Bye. Bye.